Hi everybody, uh, today I'm gonna show you uh, what is the reference variable and how you can use it in Unreal Engine 5. So if you go to the level blueprint, we can create the variable by pressing variable plus key or we can uh, get the reference and create a variable from there. I'll show you that. So first of all, I just uh, create a variable. And I name it character. It doesn't matter what name you give, but uh, the matter is we can uh, search and access any character we created. We can create any character, we can create any actor, any UI, or any blueprint uh, which we can access. We can access all. So I just add a event begin play. You know, event begin play run when the level is start. So we use BP third person character and BP third person uh, game mode. So from here, I just add get player character. and uh, from get player character we can access any character we want any character blueprint we want so i add a class to bp third person character and from s uh, bp third person character we can right button and create a variable so this is a bp third person character uh, we can search and change the variable type this is we object reference we use we can access it from this character like uh, if we search bp third person character and object reference so both are the same variable type only the change is uh, name is different so just compile and save so this is how we not just only can add the character also we can add game mode so i just add get uh, game mode and from here i cast to uh, bp third person game mode here we only can add uh, the game mode so i just uh, create another variable and i just name it game mode so now we can access from game mode also if we have any code there or any variable there or any function there we can also change it to game mode uh, if we search so now from here we can create a widget ui and uh, i don't show you about the ui in detail but i create a ui called WinGem. so we can access from like that return value we just uh, create a variable and just name it widget also we can access from any variable just search and you will find it WinGem reference or object class whatever we prefer to add So right button, get player pawn, we can also access all of our pawn which we want to create or which we will create if we create any. I show you how you can create a pawn. Also we can access the actor if we want. Uh, get all actor of class bp it so from uh, using this get all actor of class we can access to any actor blueprint we can create a variable with this it will create a array variable but uh, we are preferring to use a reference variable so we need to create uh, create a get so from here we can create a reference variable where we can access uh, all of the bp palette or actor blueprint inside code in our uh, variable so also we can add a function called get all widget of class from here we can access to any widget we want so i just add a get and we have we created the reference i just add it and add with the get 
this is very handy tool and from the widget we just add the WinRAM also create a copy I already created a widget uh, WinRAM widget so I just change the name widget and I just add it and it easily add with the get because it's uh, using the same BP blueprint so I name it uh, BP collect uh, the collect bots previously it have do, it don't it don't have any name so I just uh, give the name BP collect compile and save now we created uh, lots of uh, uh, reference variable the actor reference variable and we can now use it so i want to i just can add a variable in here and we can access it uh, from the reference i show you in previous tutorial you see it one thing is important if we don't add uh, the reference to the even even begin play like we do uh, then we cannot access if we don't add it to the event vision play we need to add with the event vision play so i just uh, add the event tick and from here i just uh, add the character it's use bp third person character but i don't add it with the event vision play and that's why we cannot access it we can access it but it it, it will not work floats event which i uh, created in uh, bp character third person character blueprint so from here i just add a print string I add the print string, I compile and save. Now it's showing all 0000000, 000 000 000 000 000 because uh, I cannot access uh, to the this, the error is showing. The error is showing, we cannot access. Because we are not uh, added the event vision play. So just delete it, or we can control Z, back it. Just change the character to uh, player. The both use the same variable type baby third person but uh, player is add with the now now we can see the number is floating because it's uh, working because i add with the event vision player that's why so delete the character compile and save now we can add any custom event in here if we want so i name it uh, check the reference and we can access this uh, uh, custom event i just add print string and from here i just write something in here right there is this uh, so we can change the color like this this yellow color and we can also increase the duration so i add it uh, to my bp third person character and for my player I can just add it, uh, add it, uh, check the reference. Here is my reference, the event graph. And if we play now, we can see is it worth in yellow color and it will show five seconds. Because we add in event, it, that's why it's uh, running it to every frame. So, same thing we can do in any other uh, blueprint or actor or widget. For example, we can edit with our BB Collect. Uh, this actor blueprint, the parent class is actor. Now, if we add any variable in here, we can access it from our reference. Uh, I add a variable, I name it uh, check variable. And I add a, a custom event. I name it uh, actor custom event. and from here i just add a print string and i add uh, this is uh, from this is from actor bp and i just uh, delete the check reference So I just get BP Collect. Uh, 
and from here I just add our uh, uh, actor custom event which we add in our BP palette so compile and save and if we run it will run this this is uh, actor BP and it's uh, showing in every frame in event tick so you can see how we can access from one blueprint to another blueprint using a reference variable this is very handy tool and this is very useful tool when i start to make games and other project you will see how we can use it so this is for today's tutorial i hope you like it uh, bye bye everybody